Faraday's law. Magnetic field is uh, here in general, magnetic field varies, and we have a kind of surface element, the sigma, that is uh, very tiny. In that case, on, on this uh, surface, uh, magnetic field becomes a constant, and that is integrated over wide region. That is called magnetic flux, phi m. And here, n hat is the unit vector that is perpendicular to this plane. And the magnitude is area. This is a unit. If the surface is flat and area is A and B is a constant, in that case, it's simply B A. And we have to consider the directional cosine. This one, scalar product, if n dot e hat, if they make a, this is A and this is a magnetic field. And if there is angle theta, this one is a cosine theta, additional factor. Faraday's law is that The closed path, magnetic flux passes, and magnetic flux changes, changes, then put the negative sign on it. And if you follow the this path counterclockwise, counterclockwise is means the normal vector is toward the upper direction, according to the right-handed screw law. And then, if you make a single turn, electric potential increases, increases. That is Faraday's law. So, this is the different from electrostatic potential. Any conservative force electric field integrated over a closed path is a zero, but this is not the case. It increases. And you, if you make a double turn, it becomes a twice. And n turn, we multiply n number of turns. Faraday's law is a left-hand side is a line integral along a closed path. Right hand side is a surface integral. But we know this one can be replaced with a curve. Then this line integral becomes the same surface integral. That is the Stokes theorem. According to Stokes theorem, this identity can be rewritten in this form. And this is a closed path. This one is not circle. This one is wrong. This is just a surface. We can we can replace this one arbitrary, arbitrary surface. So if we shrink this one into a very tiny surface, then this integrand becomes constant. When the integrand is constant, we can pull this out from the integral. That means the curve E plus time derivative of a magnetic field, scalar product area. Even though this area is infinitesimally small, it is non-zero. If you take the area very tiny, but it is a non-zero, so we can delete this to find that this one is identically zero. That means this. 
this is the differential form of Faraday's law. Now we know divergence E equals rho over epsilon zero, divergence B equals zero, and this Faraday's law. Among four, we now we know three Maxwell's equations. A little bit math. You know, log one is a zero. This one prime is one over x. It is one plus x, so one over one plus x. If I take the nth order derivative of this log, one plus x, the, we find this result. As a result, if we substitute x equals a zero, it becomes a one, and we know the nth of the derivative evaluated at x equals zero are these. Substitute this one into Taylor series expansion, what we find that log one plus x is a, a very simple. Now, let us consider a rectangle. This red rectangle is a circuit. Current I is flowing. We know magnetic field is this. We just, in previous class, we have evaluated the magnetic field due to the straight wire carrying current I at planar radius of rho at any point in here, magnetic field is entering into this page and this. Okay. What we want to do is first evaluate the magnetic field flux This direction is a Z and this direction is a rho. So area is a D rho times DZ. And we'd like to introduce the direction is opposite to phi. Here, we would like to make a counterclockwise turn. This direction is coming out of the flame and this direction is a minus e phi hat and magnetic field is entering into the page so opposite direction so magnetic field flux can be computed by carrying out this integral rho varies from b to b plus a rho varies from b to b plus a and z varies this is the origin z varies minus one half a to plus one half a right so we evaluate the d sigma in here and d sigma is toward minus e hat uh, minus e e phi hat and magnetic field is a toward if I had the magnitude of the magnetic field is this coming from. Now, it is a log. Z integral is a trivial. This is A. And rho integral is a log. The upper, upper limit, a B plus A, lower limit, B. Uh -huh. We have a log 1 plus A over B. And if we make use of this expansion formula, this expansion formula, then magnetic field, magnetic field flux passing through this rectangular square circuit is expressed like that. Anyway, now we evaluate the potential difference 
when you make a single turn, single turn counterclockwise, then what we have to do is my, compute the minus phi dot, minus phi dot. Okay, minus phi dot is by making use of the full expression given in here, I remove the negative sign because I multiply the negative minus phi dot. And because A is a fixed, this, this wire is a fixed to have a side A, but I need to take the time derivative. If B is a constant to two, there is a no induced electric field. However, if B dot is non-zero, B dot is non-zero means we would like to move this one, this side, or inside or outside. If you change the value of B, move this one to outside or inside, then indeed there is an induced electric field is created. The reason is that magnetic field here is a strong. And if you go far, farther and farther, then magnetic field becomes weak. The Faraday's law is to prohibit the change in the magnetic field flux. If you go far away, the result is the magnetic field flux passing through this circuit becomes weaker. How can I create a magnetic field flux to be increased to fill the gap? That is to make an induced electric field. That is this amount. And in here, this is a B, B plus A, and B minus B plus A. So we have B, B cancel, and we have minus sign again. If B dot is a positive, E is a negative. E is a negative. If you make this turn, it becomes a lower. That means induced electric field is, this is wrong, induced electric field in this way. If you have a, this kind of current, magnetic field is created along the E phi hat direction. Use your right hand to find this. If you have a current, circular current, magnetic field comes out. However, in this situation, if you are going far away, magnetic field entering into this plane due to this current, magnetic field is generated, it is entering, but if you are going far away, magnetic field flux decreases. To fill the gap, you need to create the magnetic field, additional magnetic field. That is to make the induced current to fill the gap. You lost, you lost some amount of field. Empty, empty side can be filled with this direction. That's the reason why the induced electric field is along this circular direction. And due to this one, this one fill the gap. This, in, this is the explanation for the opposite direction. Anyway, induced electric field, induced electric field is uh, once it is uh, generated, 
when the circuit, red circuit has a resistance R, then according to Ohm's law, induced current is generated. And dividing this E by R, we have induced current. Okay, if you have induced current, there is a current-current interaction or we have magnetic field, then the charged particle moving, moving charged particle feels this one, this force, magnetic force. And using this one, we can generalize this idea to find that current carrying wire experiences the magnetic field that is a current I, line segment, cross product with magnetic field. This is also the magnetic, magnetic force applied to a wire of length L carrying current I. Using this current I induced, we use the magnetic field generated by the actual current I. We can compute the force, magnetic force applied to this wire. If you do the calculation, upper part these two forces cancel. Upper part is going out and lower part is going down, they cancel. However, this one does not contribute. However, there are two forces. And actually inside the magnetic field at rho equals B, and outside magnetic field at rho equals B plus A. What is stronger? This side is stronger. When actually B dot is a positive, if it is a, it moving in this direction, the net magnetic force is opposite to this motion. That means it is toward inside. How? If you allow B dot positive, then the flux decreases. Eventually, the induced electric field prohibit the decrement of the magnetic field flux. So its force is toward inside to let it keep the magnetic field flux as it is. That is a physical nature. So finally, the net magnetic force can be computed in this way, I, length of the wire and the magnetic field. But inside, inside is a stronger toward the, this is a E rho direction and this is a minus E rho direction, right? Toward the wire. If it is moving with B dot to the right side, magnetic force is, is opposite toward minus E rho. Finally, net force on the square wire is toward, toward the straight wire that generate the magnetic field. The magnitude is this and we can compute the mechanical force to st stabilize this force to let this B dot is a positive and constant. Then this force and this mechanical force cancels and keep moving with the B dot equals constant. That is a mechanical force. This mechanical force is along the E to the R, E, R, E rho direction. F is this direction and V is a parallel. So we need to work in positive sense. 
So mechanical work is doing, mechanical force is doing work in, in positive sense with this power. However, the current flows and there is a resistance, what happens? This circuit spans, spans energy. The mechanical work supplied to the circuit is eventually spent as a joule heat and E square over R that is identical to this amount. So supplied energy per unit time by a mechanical force is uh, lost by joule heat. Then finally we find that the force in opposite direction, that is a magnetic force, the magnetic force and eventually do not work. The source, the source of energy is assumed to be the mechanical energy supplied to the circuit and the circuit spends the same amount of energy. And this is a, our air circuit example. I think you don't have to worry too much about except for this and uh, this time constant business is exactly the same as what we learn in RC circuit. 